Hey, what's going on guys? Doplanner930 here. I hope you all are doing well, and I hope you can hear me alright. I've got my printer printing in the background, and it's finishing up a job. And my cat is hitting the tripod, as always. Anyways, I decided to make this video because I've been thinking about making this video for a few weeks now, and uh, basically there's a lot of people I know that are interested in 3D printing, and they're not necessarily techie people. They just like the idea of being able to print an object that's 3D. And now as awesome as that sounds, uh, there's basically a few things I want to say to those of you that are interested in purchasing a printer that, again, are not really tech savvy people. And basically that is, do not purchase a 3D printer unless you're somewhat tech savvy person. Now, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, if you're not tech savvy and you want to purchase a printer, you couldn't take that dive and kind of learn the ins and outs of 3D printing. But basically, from my experience, if you're looking to purchase the 3D printer and have it like working right out of the box 100%, then I feel like you will probably be pretty uh, disappointed, to say the least. Now, personally, again, I can only speak from my 3D printer. I have a very low-end 3D printer retailing at about four to five hundred dollars. Where there are 3D printers that go up to the, you know, three, four thousand, up to like ten, twenty thousand. But being a consumer, I don't really see you wanting to purchase a ten thousand dollar printer. So even if you're looking at the ones that are, you know, more expensive than mine, maybe they're one thousand, maybe they're two thousand. I'm not sure. Um, I still feel like you are going to have to tinker with it a lot. Now maybe it won't be as bad as mine, maybe you won't have to really adjust so much stuff with the printer, but still when it comes to printing and 3D printing you have different filaments and with those different filaments, which are basically the plastic spools you'll be printing with, um, you have to adjust things like temperature, um, whether you want to heat the bed or heat the extruder. Some filaments that are the same kind of plastic might need different temperatures just from different companies for whatever reasoning. Certain colors, in my experience, print better than others and might require a little bit of different tweaking. There's a lot of variables with heating the bed, whether you want to heat the bed at all, whether you want to use painter's tape, whether you want to use glue stick. Again, guys, I'm not saying that, you know, if you've, you're not tech savvy and you don't know a lot about this stuff, that you can't learn it. So don't, 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 you know, I didn't know anything about 3D printing two months ago. I've had a lot of trial and error and I finally feel like I've gotten my prints pretty damn good. Not perfect, but pretty damn good for what, you know, what my printer is. But at least be warned before spending the money on a printer that it's probably going to require at least a getting used to period because again this is still not I don't say new technology but for the average consumer this is very much so new technology I talked to people I mean I thought everyone had heard of 3D printers by this point but I talked to a coworker the other day and showed them something I printed and they were mind blown I mean they didn't know that that was the my camera just loves stopping recording out of nowhere I don't know why it cut off like that but yeah again if you're going to be getting a 3D printer and you are not tech savvy, at least do this for me. Do some research, watch some YouTube videos, browse around on the web and the forums and you know stuff like that like 3D printing 101. At least have some kind of a knowledge before purchasing the printer because even like with mine, I didn't know this really when I bought it because I did such a spontaneous purchase when I got this like right when I did. But there's absolutely no return policy. Yeah, there's a warranty, but like let's say you were to spend $1500 on a 3D printer find out it's not what you thought it was, it's more difficult, it's a headache, you can't get it going, you, and you can't take it back, that sucks. You're going to be in the hole. I mean, you can put it up on eBay and all that, but dealing with shipping and all that stuff, it's not going to be a good time. Also, last thing I will say is that if you are getting a 3D printer just to print fun doodads and objects, it's not that that's a bad idea, but coming from me, who, I've, again, I've had mine now since December and it's the end of February, so roughly, we'll say two months I've had my printer for. And everything I've printed up until this point has been stuff from Thingiverse, which is a website that has a ton of, like hundreds of thousands, I would imagine, of uh, 3D objects that have already been created. Uh, most of them have been printed out and tested, and you can just download them and print them directly from your 3D printer. Well, that's really fun and it's really cool for a while, but then it gets to a point where you're like, hmm, I want to create my own stuff. I want to do this and this doesn't exist yet. Well, that's not super easy to do. Like I'm working on my first project right now, which I'll talk to you guys at a later time about, which is actually requiring me to do 3D modeling. I have it up, well, not in this window, but I have it up on one of my windows um, where I'm actually trying to design something. That's actually pretty difficult to do if you've got no prior experience. So maybe if you're thinking about getting a 3D printer and you do want to create your own stuff down the line, tinker with 3D modeling a bit too, just to see what you think about it, how you like it, whether you can catch on or not, because again, that is is a whole other spectrum of software and learning and you know like kind of architectural not architect but you know there's 3d modeling design that definitely requires some some getting used to and some learning I'm over here just printing 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 snapchat love it I'm over here just printing things out trying to get things right and the first build I'm building is something extremely simple compared to stuff I might want to build down the line so 
it definitely is a learning experience, to say the least. Anyways, guys, that's really all. And again, don't let me steer you away from getting a 3D printer. Don't let me scare you out of getting a 3D printer. I just wanted to at least share with you guys from my experience. Again, this isn't like you're going down to buy a game that you might not like. This isn't something that is going to cost you a bit of money. And I want to make sure that if you are going to spend the money, you at least know beforehand that it's not as simple as plugging in your HP, you know, color jet printer and loading it with some cartridges and having it print smoothly. There's a lot more things things at play. So um, hopefully this is informational to you guys. If it was, please don't forget to thumbs up and share the video so other people see it as well. Um, also, if you have any questions about 3D printing, I do my best to answer in the comments below. Um, if for some reason I don't though, typically a lot of other people that view the video will help out. So um, if you have any questions for me or you'd you know, like to ask a question, feel free to do so in the comments down below. And uh, as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Dope Sunder 930 and I am out. Peace guys. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.